More local news now. People in the autism community are fond of saying, if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. This evening, we meet one artist with autism whose work just might astound you. The young artist draws fiercely, pressing his pencil against the paper with such force, the lead wears away quickly. His bold lines form animals and people of charming simplicity. The renderings look like the works of a seasoned graphic artist. They're not. Oh, well, look at you, we're on the trunk. 17-year-old Aiden lives with autism and is in the special education program at Nicolay High. His love of art really was his way of self-expression. Teacher Kate Reinhardt describes herself as Aiden's biggest fan. Someday we may be reading about Aiden's art. Um, I really do believe that it's, it's unique. Um, I think it's playful. It's, it's, it's um, something that's attractive to all ages. Aiden and his mother have formed a company, Curly Top Tees, named for the teen's shock of curly hair, to market clothing adorned with Aiden's art. Curly Top Tees will be sold at this weekend's Nicolay Artisan Fair, with proceeds going to the special ed program. I think the only kind of business model to do is a philanthropic one. So um, I, we're going to give 10% of the proceeds to support organizations or programs that help people that are differently abled. And I'd like to keep it local because we're local. Connie's hope is that her son's art may one day sustain him. Aiden doesn't have a lot of conventional language. I feel like art is his voice. And these uncomplicated depictions give that voice volume. And the Nicolay High School Special Education Department's 11th Annual Autumn Artisans Fair is tomorrow from 10 until 4. It features artists from all over southeastern Wisconsin, including Aiden. Nice talent. Yeah, he's something else.